there may be times when you want to create a group of pictures and put them into an album or a collection. So to do that, you just go to the left-hand side of your screen in the album panel, click the green plus sign to the right of the album. See, so you have local albums. Go ahead and click that plus sign. And then you get in the panel bin, new album, an album name. So you go ahead and enter a name for the album. Now to get your pictures into the album, all you have to do is drag and drop any of the items you want to put in there into your media bin. And I'm going to do that by clicking into this gray space here and dragging until I have all of the pictures in this little area because I want everything in this file in one album. And I'm going to hold down shift because I have to grab the bar. Just pull them right in there. And there you go. You created an album. Now all you have to do is come down here to the OK button down at the bottom of the screen and hit OK. Now if you go up to local albums you'll see the album Turtle and it numbers all of the pictures you have just dragged into that bin. And if you want to add additional pictures, just come over here and pull it directly into the album. And as you see, added a picture to the album. Now you may have just noticed that I added Abraham Lincoln to an album of water and turtles that are all in color. And he kind of doesn't seem to fit there. So you may be wondering, how do you get rid of Abraham Lincoln? Because you've added him, but now you want to delete him. Well, to do that, it's actually fairly simple. All you have to do is come up, and what you're going to do is right-click on the album. When you right-click on the album, you get this little sub-menu that allows you to edit, rename, or delete the album. And that's the three things that you need to know to be able to manage the album. Now let's go ahead and go into Edit, and this will take you back to the Edit Album panel in the uh, panel bin, same as when you created the album. And just go down to Abraham Lincoln and select him. And instead of dragging him to the trash bin like you might be used to doing in Windows or you know some other programs, you're just going to go ahead and click on the trash can. And that will delete Abraham Lincoln. But you'll notice that in the media browser you still see him. Well the reason is because you haven't hit OK yet. Until you hit OK, he still exists in the album. So go ahead and hit OK, and that's how you delete a picture. Now, if you want to delete the entire album, you don't like the album anymore and you want to get rid of it, just go right back up to that submenu. Now go down to Delete. Go ahead and hit OK. And now that album doesn't exist in your local albums folder anymore. And that's how you delete an album. Now we're going to talk briefly about doing catalog management. Now what is a catalog? A catalog is basically all the images that you have in Photoshop Elements. So everything you brought into Photoshop Elements, not just a single album, but all the albums you have are what make up your catalog. And most people, they have just one catalog. They don't make separate catalogs for different reasons, but some people do make different catalogs for various reasons. For instance, if you take a lot of photos for work and you take a lot of photos at home, you may want two different catalogs to separate your work photos from your home and family photos. So let's talk about ways that you can make catalogs and how to manage them. Now when you're managing catalogs, you're gonna do so by going up to the file menu and then you have three options here. You've got Manage Catalogs, Backup Catalogs, or Restore Catalogs. So let's go ahead and do Control shift c or Manage Catalogs. Go ahead and click on that. And that brings you to the Catalog Manager dialog box. Now down here in the dialog box, it says Catalogs. And this gives you a chance to view what catalogs you currently have on your computer. And right now it's checked for Catalogs Accessible by All Users. And that's Main Current, the current catalog that I'm in that's showing that it's accessible by all users. But you can click other options. Here you can see catalogs that are accessible by the current user only. And there's nothing in there because I haven't created anything. You can also see that there's catalogs that are in a custom location. And right now I have the sample catalog and I saved that to a custom location. So you click on that and if you double click it you actually go in 
to the catalog. Now I made that catalog but I didn't put anything in it so you're not seeing anything. Now let's go back to manage catalogs, control shift C if you want to do a shortcut. And let's go back to catalogs accessible by all users. Now when you have something selected, like this main catalog, you'll notice that these grayed out buttons become active and this gives you some options. You can rename a catalog, you can move it if you don't want it saved where it is, you can move it to a different spot. You can remove it if you don't want the catalog there anymore, just get rid of it. You can optimize it or you can repair it. Those are the options that you have for your catalog. You should note, however, that if you have a catalog selected and you want to use one of these options, you can't do it if the catalog's open. So you have to make sure that your catalog is not open before you use one of these options. The other thing that you should see in Catalog Manager is it gives you the opportunity to to either start a new catalog by hitting the new button that'll take you to a dialog box where all you have to do is type in the name of the catalog and you know hit OK when you're done or you can convert a catalog now convert it says select a catalog from the list to convert and I don't have any right now but convert is for bringing in a catalog from an older version of elements or from say the Photoshop program. You can do either of those with the convert button. And that's the basics on managing catalogs. One last thing with catalogs that we should talk about is backups. And it's always a good idea to back up your catalogs periodically. With photos, with elements, your catalog is going to contain thousands and thousands of images. And if you were to lose it and lose all of those files, well, you'd be pretty unhappy. So the best thing to do is to periodically back up your Photoshop Elements 12 catalog. And to do that, it's once again fairly simple. You just go up to the File menu, go underneath Manage Catalogs, go to Backup Catalog, or you can just hit Control B if you're into shortcuts. and you'll get this little dialog box that really it's a wizard it'll take you right through the process and all you really need to know here is with your backup you have two options you can do a full backup which if you haven't done a backup before is what you're gonna do it copies all the items from the current catalog and puts them as a full backup the incremental backup just once you've done a full backup the incremental backup will go in and it'll copy any images or changes that you've made since the last full backup to keep your catalog up to date. And basically full backup takes a lot longer to do than incremental. So incremental is nice to keep things up to date, but full backup is how you get started with that. So go ahead and make your selection. Go to next. This is going to ask you where you want to put it. You can either select something that's up or you can come down here to browse to select a specific path. So all you have to do is select where you want to put the backup and then hit OK. And then you're just going to hit save backup. And there you go, you've successfully made a backup.